Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Bash 2018. I'm Kine and I have sitting here with DJ Z and DJ Kirk. DJ Kirk. <laughs> so we have a few questions here that we'd like to ask them just to kind of delve into how they started in music and what they hope to do. And then in the middle, we will just ask a little bit about that stuff and then we'll switch over to a quick 30 second uh, quick response challenge. Nice. On that challenge, you don't wait for the other person to respond. <laughs> you just tell me what's on your mind, the first thing that's there, and then we'll roll with that. There we go. <laughs> Pretty easy, nothing too difficult. And then we'll go back and just ask, how can we um, find you and reach out to you too? Cool. So my first question to Kurt then, can you tell me how you start out in music? Yeah, it was, um, uh, do you want me to look at you or the camera? Either. Okay, cool. <laughs> so it was a um, high school assembly program back mm -hmm. as a sophomore. And uh, they had this music software, and uh, they were messing with the pitch and the speed of the song, and just took an interest to that. And luckily for me, I was able to find out what they were messing with. And at the same time, I had a, a favorite hip hop group, uh, Christian group Grits, that uh, was playing. They were kind of the face of Christian music back then. And they had a DJ, and uh, I was going to be going to a conference where they were performing. So I seen their DJ who was scratching performing and I was like this is pretty much what I want to do so yeah. right then I got my setup and I uh, kind of just went from there nice and JP what about you uh, well I've been doing music since I was really little so my first concert I sang the books of the Bible when I was three <laughs> years old at my church nice. and, and you all started out from yeah, somewhere huh <laughs> yeah so yeah. did the whole worship team thing when I was in youth group and gotcha. was a super band geek uh, mm -hmm. in high school and uh, then kind of fell into dance uh, accidentally actually and so wow. then um, found myself spending a lot of time doing that and was scouted and moved out to LA and danced for Justin Timberlake and Rihanna and people like that and then um, came back home and uh, considered or continued to pursue music kind of uh, music and dance and, and inspiring people through that stuff uh, for the last man it's been 12 years now. Yeah, so just Justin Timberlake and Rihanna, <laughs> yeah. you're all good. Yeah. yeah, that's actually pretty cool. What was your experience like with those uh, groups traveling? Did you travel a lot? Or? So with those guys, um, my no, I just did like really small commercial snippets and like live shows. Um, did a couple of things there, but I ended up coming home before I really got into the tour side of things. So. Okay, gotcha. And so you two um, kind of have a set together, and that's pretty cool. I saw your set, and it was really amazing. It was really great. Um, it was pretty awesome. Uh, what is it that you hope to achieve on your musical journey? So what is it that you have as a long-term goal? Or what, is, what do you hope to do in any one set? What is your goal? I'll let you take that, bro. Yeah, well, I mean, he's great at being a, a really great DJ, so. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I think just uh, connection. Okay. Uh, you're just creating moments. That's simply what it is. Um, whether it's talking, whether it's nonverbal, um, it's just another expression of communicating. Um, as humans yeah. and so I and especially it's fun it's when you get to see God then take it and go beyond what we can Absolutely. do as humans and uh, yeah. so it's fun to see how God kind of breaks down stereotypes uh, and see people mm -hmm. people's inner child kind of come out and play and stuff when uh, when they let go of uh, things that are bogging them down and yeah. and I think that's really fun to do and that that's been kind of part of our musical journey since 2013 so mm -hmm. those stereotypes what stereotypes are you specifically talking about anybody yeah yeah Is any, it just the look of a person that you've defied or yeah it's, that it's really you've it's, seen defied it, it's really fun to see uh all sorts of socioeconomic um people even in the church and outside the church mm -hmm. that uh to see their walls uh come down stuff as we're just doing what we're doing and, and to see People relate with music. They relate with experience. They relate with emotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, when when God has His hand in those, it can be a powerful thing. And so, it's, it's just like it's fun, you know. And uh, it's a it's a fun thing to be a part of. That's awesome. That is very powerful. What about you, JP? What's your goal? What do you hope to achieve in any one set? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, I think my journey has, for a long time, I thought the. Um, you know, my purpose has always been to inspire people to reach the potential that God's put inside of them. And, yeah. and I thought music was the way to do that. Um, and I've found that through my journey that actually, you know, our purpose is far more important than our vehicle. Right. 
and music has been a vehicle for me to do that and, and he's opened doors for me to continue to do that even though I walked away from my record label and do all that kind of stuff and there's still there's still things that that we have um, at our fingertips to be able to do that but um, it's funny that the journey has led me kind of away from from music for a little bit to realize that my purpose was more important than how I executed that and that I needed to let God be uh, be the dic- or be the be the director of of how that was instigated yeah. um, and so um, I think that's been been the most important thing um, that I've had to learn through this journey and so realizing that I'm just there to make an impact on people's life however I got to do that that is amazing very very cool so thank you so much for sharing that with us we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our quick 30 second response fun oh boy, segment here we go, dude. <laughs> I promise this. it's been going great. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure you'll be great. Um, but for the most part, there's just maybe one or two that you have to come up with your own answer. But for the most part, I'll give you choices. Okay. Just tell me what's the first on your mind, and then we'll go from there. All right. So, what's an instrument that you currently don't play, but you secretly wish you could? Oh, man. That answer quick. I don't know. Ukulele. Great. <laughs> chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin? Oh, chocolate, chocolate chip. Nice. Starbucks or caribou? St- Starbucks. Okay. <laughs> Breakthrough? Did you hear them? <laughs> What's your go-to? Rock, paper, or scissors? Ooh. Quick. I think paper. scissors. Ha! <laughs> yes! I win! <laughs> <laughs> so you're a new addition to a crayon box. What color would you be? Oh, Last question. Pink. Ooh. Ooh. Red. Nice. Taylor Swift, 1989. <laughs> oh, <laughs> funny, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. So now, um, we'll start with Kurt again, and then we can go to JP. But can you tell us how to find you on social media for anyone wanting to connect with you, anyone finding your story powerful or wanting to network at all, or where we can see you live? How can we do that with your uh, musical journey? Is there any websites, any social media handles we can look for? Yes, um, if you go to I'm DJ Kirk, K-I-R-K dot com, uh, you'll find everything on there. Also, Spotify is a great resource. You'll see that on my website as well as Facebook. If you want to go to Spotify, search DJ Kirk. Uh, if you're searching Instagram or Facebook, um, it's slash I am DJ Kirk, just like my website. Uh, so check that out. I'm going to be releasing some new bootlegs here coming up hopefully in the next few months of uh, some current popular dance tracks out there. So we'll see what happens. Nice. Right, JP. How can we find you? So you can connect with me. I've got a I've got a website um, at Jesse Paul Smith. Um, that's my social media stuff. JessePaulSmith.com as well. That's J S S E. No I. I'm not a woman. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Hang let's, out. Just, let's just get that straight. Uh, but you're gonna find mostly um, me doing um, inspiring, motivational talks and stuff like that. There's not a whole lot of music projects right now. However. I am working on doing kind of a um, a worship album of sorts that's going to be a little bit more pop, dance, hip hop type uh, influence. So that's going to be coming out in the next eighteen months. Nice. Well, thank you all so much for coming and doing this with us. We really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing your stories and your perspectives. It's really powerful. Anyone looking, we'll have those social media handles in the description. Uh, you can follow these two and see what's coming up next. Well, thank you so much. Welcome to Backyard Bash.